Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Milk Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Hoi 4, World of a Southern Victory Mod. Um, so last time, we established our relations, figuring out what's going on in the world, it's 1912 June 9th, but let us choose our next focus, because we've just finished up strengthening our British ties. How about we shall do next? You know what would be good? Maybe it would be good to get a little bit of a bonus for our land doctrine, and get a little bit more army XP. I love the description. Anyways, so... Uh, a couple comments. Oh, the U.S. joins Central Powers. Um, well, that is not good. And War in the Balkans, cool. So I guess everyone's declared War in the Ottoman Empire. Very good. We have the Balkan League. Very nice, very nice. But this is a little... Mm, not bueno. It's a good thing we strengthened our ties between us and the Brits and the French. Because you never know what the Americans up north might be planning. Hmm... Absolute domination over North America? I think so, but anyways. Let's see, 1916. Let's see, infantry recovery rate. That's nice. But we do have a couple comms to get to. For example, apparently the uh, CSA, at least in this timeline, maybe in real life too, allowed for Native Americans or Indians to you know, be within the borders. So, and Tennessee was particularly fond of them, so I decided, you know what? It might be cool to give the cavalry, the army name, something unique. So I decided to go with the Cherokee. Cavaliers. I think it'd be kind of nice to give them some sort of, you could say, representation, perhaps, to a degree, here in Tennessee, because apparently they're from Tennessee-ish, a little bit of North Carolina-ish, this sort of region. Uh, there's some Chickasaw in Tennessee as well, so I just figured, you know, it'd be kind of cool if we had some Cherokee Cavaliers. Very, very fierce warriors. Um, next up, I should play the Cold War mod sometime. Cool. I, I might. I don't know. Like, I, like what I've said in other mods at the time of this recording, there's so many mods out there now. I don't have time for all of them, but we'll see what happens, maybe in the future. Um, there's going to be a World War II version of this type of uh, confederacy, which I should be able to say now since we're past, we should be around two minutes, but whatever. Um, there'll be a World War II version coming out soon. I, It might be this mod or it might be another mod. I do have uh, eyes on what's happening with that, so very cool, very, very cool. Armored cards, it's only 1912, let's grab, not that. Uh, so yes, I do have my eyes, my eyes, ears, and... I guess not my nose, but I'm watching what's happening to a degree. So, hey, if you have other mod recommendations, though, <clears throat> keep letting me know. Keep letting me know. And finally, apparently in this universe, I didn't realize this, but apparently tanks, what we call tanks, are called barrels. I forget exactly why they're called barrels, but tanks are barrels because, yeah, yeah. Someone can probably explain it, than, explain it better than I could in the comments below. So barrel prototype, tank pro prototype. Uh, doctrine effect, good, or effort, good, naval convoy escorts, very good. Let, you know what, since the North joined the Central Powers, how about we join the Entente? With how close we have become to the, how close we have become to the British and French, and with war looming on the horizon, we should formalize a military alliance with our two allies to protect both them and us. World tension just casually goes up by seven, and I apologize, I cannot speak tonight apparently. Words are very difficult. Coordinated subs, sure, why not, as we are trying to whisk through 1912, hopefully 1913, and get to a little bit of a, a little bit more of a conflicted zone, we could say. We could use more wood. And you know what? I will trade with Russia for another... Oh, that's a little bit too much. I don't think I need that much wood. Oh. Okay. I don't want to buy all of it, but that, that's a good amount. <clears throat> oh, there goes Italy and Turkey. Cool. Italy won the Italo-Turkish War. Well, I think there's still Ottomans. Wow, Serbia's looking really strong. They really want to get to the sea. But, uh, yeah, I want to keep at least some factories still home so we can build more stuff. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah. Ottomans, you're not looking great. But we do have a lot of political power now. We can't do that. That's fine. We could go to export focus, which would give us more resources. But we lose some output, which I don't want to lose too much of. Uh, here, light aircraft, fighters, Texas aviation. That's the way to go right now, just because we need as much help for research as possible. But we are getting quite a bit of naval XP, which is... Delicious. We're doing pretty well in guns, only out 40,000, 39,000, out 1,000 artillery pieces, and casually 1,600 pieces of support equipment out, which isn't bad. It's not terrible. It's not great. But it's time to increase uh, the good boys. See if we can make our good boys even more good. Or, as some might say, better. Actually, you know what? Remove that. Let's make them 20 combat with. We can throw something else on here. Oh, we probably gonna need some of that. Right now, they have zero recon, so this would actually be pretty beneficial, but I'm going to go with this first. 
underground mining. Very nice, very nice. Uh, that's a little bit ahead of time. Recovery rate. Su supply consumption would be nice. Go ahead and grab that. We'll get that for later. Uh, what are we doing? Ship-wise, we're still looking pretty good. We're led by Benson, which is awesome. One, two, three, good. Uh, you know what? Focus on that one, just so that we're surrounded by military factories. Where, where are our military factories going to? We do need at least one horse-drawn vehicle, so we'll prop you up here. Then we'll do that, that, that. Just so we have a good eye on what's happening everywhere, so... Uh, Resource-wise, we're, of course, out of wood, but actually, that's not too bad. And we've joined the Entente, hopefully. Next up, joint planning. Let us grab... Uh, we could get infrastructure, but maybe we should prepare for war. So, joint CSA Canadian military planning. So, the Canadians face the threat of the U.S. just like us. We should conduct some exercises with them to strengthen both of our militaries. That is actually a very smart idea. We can... The states join the Entente. A network of entangling alliances grows ever bigger. Oh, and we still have the uh, Empire of Mexico down here. We love Mexico, even though we'd like we'd prefer them under us. Yes, we got Confederate aid forever, which is actually really, really good. Neutral foreign policy. Well, you're not going to be neutral where we're going, son. No, no, no. Yeah, we definitely need more divisions. Yeah, I might just use my cavalry as a mobile force. Just to make sure that they don't breach our lines. That's our, my main goal. To make sure that they do not breach our lines. Uh, you guys, go ahead and train a little bit. Get us a little bit more army XP. Oh, we have the horse run stuffs. We have rifle primacy. Next up, we should grab mobile position for more division speed. And a little bit more. Not a lot more, but a little bit more division organization. It's already November 1912, which is good. And the Ottomans, well, they're not losing as fast as they were before. Thessalonica, that's good. Uh, uh, so previous nation building. So the next thing we should probably do is enable ship design, because we can't really use tanks yet, or barrels, I should really say. Less armor on carriers, no thank you. It's going to be the Nolans Naval Yacht. Because even though we don't have carriers, we prefer capital ships, or just, you know, battle cruisers or battleships. The Houston Naval Shipyard actually isn't too bad. A 10% increase in production cost isn't terrible for screens if you get more self detection, more max range, more max speed. That's not bad, but max speed is kind of wasted if you have slow capital ships. If you put them with the capital ships, so, eh, it's okay. Go ahead and do that, too. That'd be nice. Actually, since we have all of this, the next two would be built in Texas would be like that. And we are quite literally out of room to build. Hmm. Also, the, someone did mention, is, does the Panama, Panama Canal exist? It does exist, well, for Colombia. Not for anyone else, though. Happy 1913, though, my friends. Happy 1913. Oh, I forgot to do this stuff. Uh, well, I didn't really forget. It's okay. We can't really do anything with this. Uh, let's go over here. Can we do anything with this stuff? Not really, no. 1914 stuff. Uh, we could grab armored cars, but really... <sighs> we need barrel prototype. That's really what we need. Which we can do in 1914 or 15. We're doing well in that. That's a little ahead of time. We could get more max speed. We can't even get down there yet. You know what? Since we have that, you might as well do that. We might need that, maybe. Hey! Military training. Good. Um, I'm going to throw everyone on the front lines to see what happens. Joint planning. Good. Next up, we shall do prepare for war. So, war is to come soon. We must be prepared. Very good. How are you guys looking? Pretty not bad. Uh, you know what? You can be, you can be uh, charismatic occasionally. Got a little bit of this. Let's grab some of the Nolans. Shipyard. Very good, very good. Fill out those lines because we still have the threat, potentially, of a uh, socialist black uprising, which I don't know when that's going to occur. If we lose, or we are losing the war, that'll probably occur, so we got to keep that in the back of our minds. Because uh, I don't like uprisings, no matter what who they call themselves. I don't like uprisings within my lands. And you probably don't either, so we just have to keep an eye on stuff. You know what's we're here? Go and train one. We don't need a lot, but at least one or two for now. <sighs> Recon cavalry detachment. That's not bad. That stuff can all wait. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's get tank and armor variants. Just because this eventually turns into a sub organization, submarine attack. Do we really need sub attack? Do I even have subs? No, we don't. So there's no point to even go that way. And we could do submarine detection. Ship. Detection plus 30% efficiency. I would submarine rating would be better. Rating efficiency. 
Uh, but whatever that's 20 and 10 percent 10 20 percent more organization capture attack i think having more organization is actually better i think because you can stay in battle for longer i think i think that'd be better i could be wrong about that go ahead and death stack it this is actually that is more than enough screens for now go and repair if you need it um you guys five four twenty uh, you could still use a few screens right there so hey mexico Ooh, mexican divisions you're not bad, you're pretty good. I think these are the ones that we were making as well. Um, I could throw you on the line, but I want to keep you a little... <clears throat> I want to say segregated, but... <clears throat> Y'all do you. Oh man, you guys are looking terrible. Maybe I shouldn't train you guys anymore. Yeah, I'm not going to train them anymore. That costs us too much. But, uh, man, these are going to be some strong soldiers. Strong Mexican soldiers. I love them. Yep, smoke generator is good. That's nice to have. Subs. Yeah, those are okay. Oh, we can do both. Yeah, you might as well do both. Get through that as fast as possible. Um, honestly, our army is not looking great compared to the American army, but it is what it is. Suffragette demonstrations. Wow. I'm glad we're allied with Canada because they're about in the same situation as we are. America's looking pretty darn mighty. They can actually afford their divisions. <laughs> we can't quite do that yet. We're hoping to get there someday. We're still working on it. It is what it is. You know, that's okay. Four strong characters. We're working on it. Uh, prepare for war. Good. We got 100,000 more manpower and some more XP overall. Urbanization effect is okay. Uh, we can do this again. Uh, that might not be bad. Let's do that. Effort 3. It's only 15% bonus, which isn't great. But, and that's still useful for us. Regardless. Especially for land auction. I mean,. If you don't do your land auction or you're behind, it could really hurt you. How this work going between those guys? 134,000 versus, oh my goodness, a quarter million. Serbia, you've lost a lot of dudes. I wonder if they're going to peace out eventually. It is 1913, so. And I'm glad we have Chihuahua and Sonora as core states. Very good. Daily conservatism, not bad. This is getting better. This is all getting better overall, but it just takes so much time to make things better and better and better. Go to the top, very good. We'll put two there then. Then we'll do five, then we'll do max that out. Let's go. It's going to take time. It's just going to take time that we don't have. Honestly, we really don't have time for it. But that's okay. Make more, please. Make more. After that, we'll probably start building up roads. Is that coal? That might be coal. Oh, it is coal. Oh, we got plenty of coal. We need more wood. If anything, we probably build up uh, infrastructure here. Southern region and northern region of Virginia. Apparently, the south doesn't believe in any wood at all. Except if it's in Virginia or in Mexico. Mexico is oh, Sonora's rich with resources. Wow! Wowzers. Robert, you got anything for us? So your skirmisher, probing attack. Uh, so that's extra paratrooper supply. Damage reduction against cast. Air superiority bonus in combat. Eh, that seems okay. Not great. So I'm going to see if I... If we have some sort of rebellion, I'm going to use the uh, Mexican soldiers as kind of a deterrent. I'm going to put them all in the victory points that we have just in case. Because I, I literally have no idea where they're going to occur. So. Communication systems are nice. I guess we can grab this next. Dixie Flyer Motors. More max speed, reliability. Good. And we almost have our Doctrine Effort 3. Now let's grab some infrastructure. Good. Even though it's worth not very much, I guess we could now start getting an extra civilian factory. Getting an extra military factory, and maybe two extra dockyards. Even though at this point it won't really matter too much. Uh, every own state gains one infrastructure isn't bad. Capital ship targeting focus. Good, do good. Get the next one. Oh, we have another ship. Yes, please. Because this one, this has so many screens. 16. You need at least four, usually around four screens for every one capital ship. So you need four times 16 is 64. 60, oh my gosh. That's, I mean, that, those guys aren't super strong, but they are who they are. They are, they are what they are. Counter offensive, more 10% breakthrough and more division speed, which isn't bad. So 109 factories. I mean, I, th I think we're doing really well for just in general building. I think we're doing very, very well. And you guys are still killing each other over there. Is anything else happening? Like, any other wars? Anyone dying over here? I mean, we have the Republic of China. Sun Yat-sen, maybe? When? Cool. Uh, what is Germany up to? Reinforce Deutsch Südwest Afrika. France has North African colonial military factories. 
Anti uh, of course, we're going to do an anti-German policy, which is fine. Uh, they're doing recruitment propaganda with those evil Americans. Dreadnought effort, very cool. Russia, you're doing politics in Scandinavia. You have Tsushima, humiliation, convoy target, mass production. Oh, I hope they have one in bl black. Uh, moving conveyor belt, specialized machines, more specifically skilled workers, is close to making his dream a reality. That's kind of cool. Oh, look at that. Nice. Good horses. I just call them the best. They're just good. Now that's some thick divisions. Doesn't mean they're good, though. Not at all. This is going to be the special forces for now. Now, with extra recon, with a recon at least, period. Logistics, artillery, all that good stuff. That should be nice. Hey, we're actually we're positive on transport vehicles. Who actually uses transport vehicles? Do you guys use transport? Yeah, you do. It must be the uh, logistics companies that use them. Do you guys use this? Yep, logistics and field hospitals. Your regular grenadiers don't need them yet. And yes, these are still 18 combat with. We could save on guns by destroying any like small deficit of artillery that we have currently, but let's not go there. Let's not go there. Mm, I guess now, I guess at this point, it's finally good to lower this and stop trading away our factories. We'll all go to export focus next. We have infrastructure effort. We shall do. We could do urbanization. That'd be kind of okay to get more resources, but whatever. Let's grab another civilian factory for construction effort, and then maybe a military factory. Uh, it has to be after 1915, or after 1914, basically. That one isn't bad for support artillery, equipment, effort. The, they just give you bonuses, which, I mean, it's okay. But it's only 15 to 20 percent. It's not that great. Oh, that, that one does give you 50 army XP, 75 army XP. That's not bad. Urbanization, we'll do that eventually once we run out of other focuses to do. Maybe, if that ever happens. Maybe. Manpower, we do have to keep an eye on manpower as well. It ain't looking too great right now. Go ahead and move this up, too. Gotta continually focus on military factories. Oh. Yeah, keep finishing those guys up. Finish them up, finish them up. Yeah, we definitely need more wood. Ooh. Yeah. Only one piece of artillery a day. That's not really good at all. Capital ships, looking great. I wish it, I wish the uh, Admiral could like get a little bit more skill if he was like training. And that could help up to a certain level, but, you know. I guess it is what it is. Ah, another Mexican division. Love it. You guys come to Nolens, just in case. Communication systems, very nice. Oh, I guess air superiority would be nice. I don't think we can really... We don't even have planes yet. It's not even 1914. We do have 10 air XP, though. That's kind of nice. Alright, good, 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 good. Improve working condition. Oh, we could do that, but let's, let's switch out of this first. Hey, look. Another Mexican division. Thank you. First fight across the Mediterranean. So what? It's just a fad. Let's go ahead and move to Nashville. That's probably worth a little bit more than Little Rock. Just saying. I love Little Rock. I've well, I've only been there for a little bit, not very long. Now that does help. We do get a few more resources, but it's not an extreme help because we. Yeah, well, I mean, it does help. Now we can actually continue making ships. Coordinated fleet movement. Powerful battle fleet raid. Nice. This will help us destroy the American Navy. I. I could be wrong. But with all the research that we've poured into doing naval research, we should be able to obliterate the American Navy pretty easily. At least I would hope so. And this way we can destroy any sort of things that they need to import. Which would be good. And next up we should go to Atlanta. I I never realized that Atlanta is right there in the middle of Georgia. I always think it's on the coast, but that's always Savannah. I need to focus on my geography more. Infrastructure, armament, effort. Good. We get a whole one, one military factory. Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Good. We're doing really well on guns. We might not have a deficit by the time the war starts, but we let's be real. We probably will. All right, since we did that, let's go ahead and increase this by one more. I think we have enough factories to cover that. And we we finished our military factories so fast. Lower by one, lower by one, just because I want to build up another military factory. Because we, we just need more. I don't We don't have enough resources or space to do this. And you guys come down too, uh, and they can come to Memphis. Last uh, fleet move, very good. It is approaching 19. Oh, that's 19. Oh, 15. Wow, that's pretty far away. Tactical bombers, flying court, just in case you know, maybe we'll get that started. So we do have 10 army XP. I could ruin our infantry by adding on. Well, I wouldn't ruin them, but ruin my stockpile of no guns. 
throwing on some of this. We have to have some transport vehicles, but we don't have any support equipment. We definitely need field hospitals on our guys, though. But we don't have enough support equipment yet. That's good. It's not great. Once we get enough of this, we can spread out our factories a little bit more. That'd be nice. God, I'm making so many Mexican divisions. I love it. Come to Little Rock, finally. Good, good, good. Do we have another one? Oh, no, we just have your normal division right there. Alright, so we have one, usually one to two divisions per tile. Just like the Americans, even though they sometimes have five, now they have one to two. Mostly two, but sometimes one. We're defending the hills. We should be okay. Should. Hopefully. I hope. As we're slowly making more guns. Slowly. Hopefully, we'll have our allies be able to give us some Lendleys by the time the war starts. Because it's almost 1914. So we've got to keep that in mind. Good. Finish these two off. Keep building, building, building. Um, armament efforts. Good. Good, 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 good. Anything I can do on the left side? Urbanization. You know, let's do urbanization. Let's do that. So, many parts of the CSA are still very rural. We must construct infrastructure in these areas. Good. Every state gets at least one infrastructure, which is very nice, actually. Very, very nice. Uh, Louisiana has 5 out of 10, which isn't bad. Arkansas only has 4. Mississippi has 5. We've got some counter-offensives. Now let us do special or specific encirclements for plus 17% breakthrough, plus 10% soft attack. That's amazing. <gasps> Extra military factories. Yes. Throw them on here just because if I throw them on field artillery, that's not really going to help them that much. Or infantry equipment because that takes away wood and support equipment does not require wood just yet. Good. All right, let's see. Oh, you still have Jeb. Jeb. You know what? You want an organization first? Sure. You can have it, Jeb. Guerrilla fighter, entrenchment speed. Any dude over here? Yes. Tasker. Charismatic? Sure. Why not? We can do the same thing over here, but now we're going to wait and save it up. Oh, reciprocating engine. 1914. Happy 1914, my friends. I wonder what this year has in store for us. We could get this, but we own Texas. So I don't think we need that. Trench excavation? Maybe. Let's make sure we get some more defense first. I, I think we might have to be pretty defensive here in the CSA. You never know. Do we have any other ships yet? No, that really sucks. And you are still fighting the Balkan War. Actually, you are winning the Balkan War against Bulgaria. Whoa, I thought I left this on historical. I'm pretty sure I did. How many soldiers are we making? Okay, 12. That's not bad. That's, that's actually not too bad. We've got four here. Still one over here. State guards are doing actually pretty darn well. How many do we need? 16, that's not bad. We might get navally invaded through Mexico, which would be very, very not bueno. I want to train these guys so badly, but we just don't have the guns for it. Artillery is actually doing pretty darn well. Powerful battlefield fleet? Great! Since we use battleships, we're going to go fleet and being. Good, we will be the masters of the sea. Wow, the Ottomans are doing really well. How are they doing that well? They have, have faith in Allah. Allah, my friend, Allah. Very nice, very nice. Um, no, nope, can't change anything out of here. That kind of sucks. Can I raise my conscription? No, we have to have no natural, natural, ultra nationalism and so or socialism, which we don't believe in either one, apparently. Uh, our tent. Oh, mmm. Silbert is probably the dude we want. Even though, you know what? I'm going to call an audible and ruin my consumer goods right now. I want more stability. 85% is nice, but having getting up to 100 would be better for more output, more daily political power gain, even less consumer goods factories. So, it's going to hurt us for now, but in the long run, it'll be helpful. And actually, I am out of places to build stuff. For now. Hmm, I don't like that. Ooh, we got another horse. Mobile. Oh, mobile. Mobile. I, I always say that wrong. Good, just in case you guys come up here. I'm probably going to have to defend, like, Virginia from from northern, northern folk. Probably. Probably. We'll see what happens. Oh, we got a couple more divisions coming out. Support equipment is still looking pretty trash. That's okay. Urbanization effort. Cool. Thank you for the resources. We can do the second one, but no, we're going to do it infrastructure effort two. Ah, good. I love infrastructure. We, now we've got to save our political power up, too. When we go to war, we, we'll go straight to war economy if we can. But especially straight to extensive conscription. That's going to be important. Wow. We're going through this blazing fast. We could really, really use something here. Hmm. 
Wow, you go jump from 1918 to 1938. Wow, you skip 1936 and everything in the 1920s. Holy cow! Uh, you know what? Since it looks like we're not actually deploying a lot of guys here. Let's go ahead and redeploy the front line. There you go. You guys don't have to shift around that much, which is good. Which is very, very good actually. 89% stability is very awesome. We finally are positive on artillery. Finally. Finally, 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 finally. Now, I could ruin that. Wow, eight, almost eight a day, seven a day? That's not bad. But why did why was it going up so fast? Now we're going... Why is it dropping? Oh, uh, it probably requires more wood. Uh, Russia. I think Russia's got a lot of wood. Yes. Good. Keep up production of artillery, because we could exchange our infantry equipment for artillery pieces. We're going to need to make a lot of artillery guns, though. For now, put all extra factories on there. That'd be kind of nice. Is there really no other way for me to get more soldiers? Or more space to build here? Max factories in a state. Max? We're stuck until 1916, so I can't make any more factories. Unless I take more territory, which is probably going to happen. Probably. It's 1914, April 29th. You are stuck. You, oh my goodness, Ottomans. I don't think this is historical anymore. <gasps> free dockyards. What do I do with free dockyards? I don't know. What do I do with free dockyards? Ba mm -hmm. You say battle cruiser 2, Mark 1. You get my interest. Ooh, heavy battery. Oh, these are garbage tier. Up level 4? God dang, son. Wait. Wait, hold on. I can put torpedoes on battle cruisers? Oh my goodness. It would be a sin if I didn't do that. That would be an absolute sin. This is probably going to be absolutely terrible. But we've got to try it. I mean, I don't ever use torpedoes that much. But I've got to try it, right? That sounds amazing. Cool. Early support weapons too. Good. Let's grab this one so we get a little bit more soft attack. Over here. Alright, so it's 1914. We are get closing in at the beginning of the Great War, which should happen around by August-ish. Let's get another military factory, Armament Effort 2. I could grab someone else here. I love the infantry specialist. You know what, let's do it anyways. That's pretty That's pretty good stuff, man. Atlanta's got one Charlotte. You know what, just in case, put one in Richmond. Richmond's pretty important. Oh wait, these are just normal divisions. And then these are the ones I actually took from them. Oh. Okay. If I were to do... This is what I'm thinking about. Grenadier divisions replace you with artillery. We would have negative 2,200. We would have extra 7,000 in, in hand. That's not bad. I love Mexico. They give, keep giving me your divisions. Atlanta, Chattanooga, Charlotte. Did I do Charlotte yet? I don't think I did. I can use Mexican soldiers as special forces. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, three versus one. That's not looking good. If I have to, I will use those extra soldiers from Mexico and just put them on the line as well. Just in case, because we're not looking super strong everywhere, so yeah. Hmm. Mm hmm. You know what? Because the line isn't looking so strong, I'm going to actually move you guys over here now. Just to help out. Just to help out for now. Alright, 223rd. We're getting closer. Bulgaria is just dying. Sofia has. These guys have been cut off. God dang, son. What happened? Yes, yeah, so we're out of space. We could build up in Mexico there, but nah. Uh, anywhere that has more wood? No. What? Florida has no wood? What you talking about? Well, I guess for now, just hit all the states that border them. And build up infrastructure everywhere. We actually might need more. Just do that, too. That's fine. You know what? How about, instead of just building infrastructure... We build trenches. We might need them. Let's at least do level 1s on pretty much every province. You never know. We can only get to level 2-ish. Oh, air squadron. That's kind of cool, but we don't really need that right now. 1914. Uh, you might as well do that. We'll probably need, need that later on. Here we go over here. No forts. We don't believe in forts right now. Tulsa, over there. Uh, 
I can imagine Kentucky is going to hit quite a bit. Let's go ahead and finish this off, just so we have at least something, some sort of token defense around here. Cool. Next up. Mm, battleship. Yeah, definitely that one. You guys. Armament efforts. Good. Let's grab infrastructure three. Construction effort. And eh, I'm going to do this one next. So that we're ready for whatever happens in the future. It's 1914, July 20th. Come on. Come on. War, war, war. Oh, you're probably not going to go to war because Serbia's not dead or fighting. Oh, this is weird. We, I might have to cause World War One by changing this up. Because, uh, why are the Ottomans winning, man? Why? Mehmed, what are you doing? Why are you winning? Serbia, you lost a lot of guys. Ottomans are looking pretty darn strong, not gonna lie. I would not want to fight them if they were in the Central Powers, but Serbia, now it's your turn. Bulgaria must have ran out of manpower or something. Serbia is... not that... does not have much more manpower. Greece has more manpower. Oh, please tell me. Did it? World War I start on July 28th, 1914, our timeline? I think they did. Please tell me you can go to war. Um, I mean, it gives us time to make our defenses stronger, which is nice, but it makes the USA stronger. Uh, why are you doing Asian colonial military factories? Please, France, do revanchist propaganda. It has to be after 1915, Jan January 20th. What? what? Why that? Do we have infantry equipment, which is nice. Get some early motorized, that'd be good. Alright, stockpile. We're doing better. Field guns. Looking real good. Specific encirclements, cool. Let's do deep defense doctrine, or yeah, deep defense. That's good. Like I said earlier, I'm, just, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. We have 98% stability. That is pretty darn good. Artillery specialist looks pretty awesome. Entrenchment. We emphasize a lot about artillery here. Holy cow. McCain, sure. I'll oh, get another horse. Uh, that's probably all we need for now, so let's do that. Thank you. That's it, not looking too bad. Once we have around 2,000 guns, I will switch one thing out of infantry uh, battalion in our divisions. I do wonder, though, does the do the Americans, chemical warfare, of course Roosevelt would want chemical warfare, uh, have the ability to go to war with us? I'm going to assume they went with probably the solidified Democrat control path. Cutthroat capitalism. Wow, that sounds amazing. Infrastructure efforts, cool. Let's grab... Urbanization effort, too. So, many parts of the CSA are still very, very rural. We must construct infrastructure in these areas. Cool. To emphasize building, building, building. Moving through things quickly, quickly, quickly. Even though the war is just not happening yet. Well, uh, oh, instability and uncertain future. Okay, just all of a sudden it happened in the Balkans, or else these Austrians are going to start a war. So, okay, so they peaced out. That was really not good for anyone. <laughs> There's a lot more dead guys over there. Okay. Um, if that's the case, we got to keep an eye on this. Screens, come over here, guys. Go home. Heal, heal, heal. And war assass assassination. Russia. Well, there goes Germany and Belgium. Because we're in Austria. Ah. Uh, now this is what we've been waiting for. Wow. That's a real dick move to Serbia. That's a, a tremendous dick move. After they got all of this, their army was probably occupied over here. And then the Austrians just show up. No wonder Russia decided to go to war with Austria. And the Germans are attacking these guys. And then the US will be called in. Entente joins them. I join my allies. And it's a boogaloo time. Well, okay then. We'll see what happens. Can I go to war with America? For the love of God, please let me go to war with America. Where, where are their divisions? I have no idea. Please, 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 please. I want my Missouri. No, not Luxembourg. Not the tremendous power that is Luxembourg. Uh, they join the Entente. Makes sense. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Go to war, go to war, go to war, go to war. <sighs> Why? Why have you forsaken me? Tunisia. Canada. Come on, America. Come on. Yeah, Battlefleet concentration is always nice. Yeah, sort of efficiency isn't really helpful. This is all submarine stuff, which is a waste of time for us. We'll do that one. South Africa. I love South Africa, but come on. Ottomans, Bhutan. Yeah, we got a lot of allies. Come on. Carol, the first of Romania, has passed away. I can't even justify on them. That was New Zealand. Yes, I love New Zealanders. Yes, I love them. Come on. Oh, man, look at all this. A lot of red. Please, Russia, stop it. Oh, I mean, you're doing well against Austria. Keep attacking there. Keep defending as best you can, Serbia. Australia's in. 
Germany has punched a hole with armored cars through the French lines already. India has been called in. Uh, Gun-wise, we're not doing great. We're not bad. Support equipment-wise, we're not doing great. Period. And I still can't build anything here. I mean, I can build stuff in Mexico, I guess. But I'd rather build up trenches for now. All along the line, just in case. Oh, that is a big disappointment. That is some seriously big disappointment. Just in case, you know what? I'd rather not want to fight through the hills of West Virginia that much. So we might want to go through here or go through here. I don't know. Uh, go, maybe go through Ohio. Ohio's kind of nice, right? Ohio's a nice place. A lot of farms. We got Cleveland, Columbus, um, Milan. Um, yeah, Serbia's gone. Well, oh, crap. It's only 1914. The war started like two months late. And Ser Serbia's gone. Hey, Italy! Yeah, buddy! Why... Why is America not called... If I call in Mexico, they'll come in, but... I mean, I could throw my guys to Europe. Oh... We might have to. You know what? I'm gonna call in the Mexican guys. Alright, my Mexican friends. We gotta fight some bloody Germans. And I'm sending you to do it. You're fighting for the status quo. Just remember that. Actually, it's probably best if I concentrate the Mexican forces. Um, especially right here. Come on. Well, I guess that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. What other hordes await us in this war? The first gamma chemical gas attack? God dang, just, just redo this. I mean, these guys are winning. Just don't attack. <laughs> Being in the war is kind of okay for us, since we get, like, lenders from our allies. I don't understand why America is not fighting us, though. They're, they're in the Central Powers. Maybe I have to wait till 1915? If anything, continuous track. That's 1916. Sub-attack would be a waste. It's almost 1915. Get some poison gas. Let's do it. At least we're at war. We can do some war bonds, but that really means nothing to me if we can't increase things. But hey, now we can get to war economy, which would be very nice. Oh my god, the Germans are just smashing through Belgium. Oh my god. What the heck? Guys, guys, what happened to the UK army? Did the UK already abandon France? <laughs> they might have. Oh no. Why are you not going? Why are some Mexicans going? Go, my guys, go. I mean, we should still be able to beat up the Americans. Nice and... Oh, fine, but... Uh, the Germans are coming in. Actually, if that's the case, give me my ships. We have enough fuel forever. Boom, boom, boom. Connect. If they want to invade this area, we should help them out and kill them off. Completely blockade this area. Hey, thanks, Mexico. Oh, no, Mexico, no, no, no. We want to keep you where, we're, where, where you are very nice. That is not good, my goodness. What have you guys been up to? Not doing anything, apparently. Hey, we built our trenches. I love building trenches. Mm, we get a nice solid line around here. Very nice. Infrastructure-wise, it looks good. You know what? If we run out of stuff to do, we can always build up Mexico and lower their autonomy. Alright, cool. Because if France falls, does the entire Entente capitulate? I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe it don't. So far, they're winning for the most part. Come on, guys. Get over there. I know France is very far away, but come on. Just don't die a long way either. But you know what? At least war has started. And this is turning into a very, very odd war where America has not joined. Which I might just force them to join the war so we can get stuff started. But anyways, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like maybe. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow when we figure out why there's so much demilitarized zones in Brazil. And watch as Europe kills itself. Have a great rest of your day.